Hi there. In this little continuation of uh, topology, uh, this is just a short video just to um, show you the sort of properties and the, 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 the managed tool. When you've got a topology uh, rule set in your feature data set here, your topology rules, when you right hand mouse click, you can um, click on properties and, and manage actually, they're more or less the same thing. Um, although you can, you can change things and manage. Um, and so when I click on manage, you can see sort of what's what's going on in that uh, topology uh, properties so uh, one thing you can do here is you could you could um, change change the name you can rename it um, you can adjust the um, for example the, the cluster tolerance now just to clarify what what, what, what this this is about um, this is all about how um, uh, the actual you know any vertices that are within a particular distance, um, sort of east-west distance uh, of of whatever the cluster tolerance is set at, uh, th they're just grouped together. They're clustered and become the same um, coordinate. So those vertices are all given the same coordinate, uh, and then that's how how it's um, how the calculations are then then done. The topology and the z is the same, but for vertical, that's really what we're we're talking about here. Uh, typically, the suggestions are uh, good enough, and um, so I typically leave them um, to default. So it's all about the the closeness of uh, vertices and, and what you want um, to be take take into consideration. On the next one, feature class. So here, of course, we can we can add and take away. When you when you first create a topology set, you, you you've already sort of chosen what feature class is going to be part of your topology uh, but in fact within this feature data set topology demo i have other things i have postcodes i have these this pub layer i have these triple si's these are the polygons so and at the moment i'm not including them in my in anything to do with the topology so but here i could i could bring them in and then do some topology the other thing is about that happens here is all about this sort of ranks. Um, now, now this the idea here is that I, you know, I mentioned before about the clustering and the, the tolerance and and bringing vertices together. Well, what you're trying to do here really is just to identify well what takes priority. Um, is there something more important than something else that should be sort of moved those vertices and aggregated together into one coordinate? You know what 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 what's what's the, the, the key features here? So key features you'd assign is one, whether it's x, y, or z in vertical. So you just set, so by default, they're all taken with the same uh, sort of level of, of priority, should we say, but, but you know, typically you might have some other assets and fittings on a network or something where you might set them to like a two slightly lower down, uh, whereas the, you know, the one, which is the, the sort of pipe work itself, maybe you don't want any vertices to, to change off that. Um, or, or indeed uh, um, other assets that are you know that are point based. So you're you're looking at what rules you really um, want there and what's priority, what takes priority. Um, so that's what the the, the ranks sort of uh, dictate. Um, so um, you know something if, if I ch if I changed uh, these pubs for example, if I included the pubs and said that a rank um, two, well actually I can't do two because I need to set two. So two in both x, y, and um, oh, there's any uh, it's set of z as well for, for vertical. So now those Leicester pubs, if I added them in part, take a much lower priority and would be um, subject to having vertices edited or, or moved. I'll untick that for, this, for the moment. Um, and then you got, um, yeah, I think that was all from there. Yeah, so rules. So here, obviously, um, you can mess about with the rules. You can change them. So maybe rather than must not intersect, I may want to do a slightly different. I may want um, not intersect or indeed touch the interior of the line, or um, I may want to do something about an endpoint with a point object. Um, you know that 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 sort of um, thing. If I go back to feature classes, yeah. Um, so you can you can change things. The other the other thing, of course, is you can save. So you do a save as it makes a little uh, I think it's a binary file actually or certainly an encoded file um, and it has the uh, let me just look that up yeah the extension dot rul 
Um, so that'll save it. And then of course you can load and, and sort of bring them in. And, and I think I mentioned before, we can add rules, uh, lots of other rules um, as needed. Let me just remove them. But like I said, I can change them. So if I was to go back to feature class, let's just do a select all and then go to rules. We can now, we could now do something like, uh, I don't know, the demo line work, um, You, you know, can, it's it's a line object, so it can have some kind of, um, or, or maybe actually we could say triple SIs, and there's a relationship with, um, uh, so area, area, um, maybe must not have gaps, um, so it can have a separate topology going on there, um, and and sim you know, simply, si simple as that, really, just can't be any triple SI gaps. The, um, uh, so we could add and, and carry on sort of doing stuff there. Uh, before, I think, was cancel there, do you remember on that, you can just go there and say validate. Um, well, actually, you can, even in manage, you can effectively see what the latest errors are. So if I uh, go to errors and click generate summary, you'll see what it is. And, uh, and sure enough, we know because it's that one, isn't it? It's those, those, there's an intersection going on there that um, must not um, intersect. So you can get this little report and then you can export to file uh, if you want. And actually that's a CSV. So if I just do that, um, let's save it into C, just into C temp, uh, call it topo errors, and then I'll just load it up here so, so he can he can see so this is um, uh, exported CSV of that so demo line work it's the subtype and it gives um, some, some various um, uh, error error details so um, so I need to validate it so let me Press OK, let's do a validate. Um, actually, I want to um, add this to, um, there you go. So I just hit validate and it's run. So now it's got an, an error in there. So you do you do have to validate. Otherwise, um, when, I, when I first brought that up, it actually, actually had an error zero in there. And that's because I hadn't run the validation, so there's there's one one error. So you get a CSV of that as 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 needed. Um, so that's that. Uh, manage. Okay, this is to do with the geo databases bit at the end, and that's all to do with editor tracking, which is something geo database related for when there's edits and stuff made. Um, I won't turn that on actually for the moment. Um, Again, one, uh, one thing about a uh, final key point about the whole of world of topology, et cetera, is when you, when you use topology, when you're working it, if I add it to the map, um, what, what's sort of effectively happening here is you're, you're editing, you're entering an edit mode. So, so that's why everything is on the edit menu. Everything's sort of um, active. So um, in, in terms of editing, uh, th that's what happens. Um, and so, um, I just thought I'd turn on the dirty areas there. Um, and so, yeah, it, it, it's it's edit mode, and that's why I have all the tools available to you. You know, topology is editing. You're going to end up most likely editing your uh, feature classes in some manner. So that's why it's um, in edit mode. And anything that happens, you'll have uh, edit sort of painting um, pending. Sorry. Um, yeah, there was just that dirty areas one. That, that that means something that's not validated yet. So what I'll do is actually make an edit. Um, I'll I'll bring that back in, so you, um, so you can see. It. I don't know why I took it away actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an edit to to this. So I'm going to um, do a modify. Um, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to edit vertices. I think I'll edit um, this one and I'm going to drag it across there you see. So I know I've, I've sort of broken a rule shall we say. 
So I'm going to finish my edit. Um, now if I turn on dirty areas, you see what it's done? It's shown me that there's an area of the, of the map, of the world, which has not been validated. So it looks to see there's an edit session going on, there's edits pending, uh, and so this dirty areas means exactly that. You know, this this is not this hasn't been cleaned in terms of uh, validation topology. So that's what um, that does for you. And as soon as I do a validate, you see that's gone now, because yes, it's okay. Yes, it's failed. You know, it has it has generated a, a an issue, but it the whole area has been validated. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. It's just a few few points there about about topology. Uh, general ones. Thanks.